A committee of five students is to be chosen from seven boys and four girls. How many committees can be formed? What we're looking at now is because um, different positions, there's actually five positions, so one person can take any of those five positions. So we're looking at combinations. This is not an arrangement anymore because there's no specific order. Okay, so we're going to use... Um, the method of writing combinations, I'm going to write this, this as follows. I'm going to say the number of ways is combinations. There's 11 positions, 7 plus 4, there's 11. And out of those 11, I have, out of 11 participants, I have to fill 5 positions. That is the same as, according to my formula, and remember my formula is, I'm going to write it in orange up here. I'm going to say that NCR equals however many there is, divide by R, how many positions there is, there are, multiply by N minus R factorial. Okay. In short, that's a big thing to remember. All I remember is there's 11 divide by 5, and 5 and 6 will give me 11, so I'm going to add 6, because looking back at my formula up here, if this is 6, and then this is 5. If this is 4, this is 11, depends on what's at the top. So together, this must give me 11. So 5 plus something is 11, and that's 6, and that's what we're going to put down here. Now comes the algebra. Okay, so the algebra is as follows. 11 factorial is going to be... <clears throat> Um, I'm going to write next to just to have space. It's going to be 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Divide by 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which I don't write, times 6 factorial. This 6 factorial cancel. Um, 5 and 2 is 10, 10 and 10 cancel. Uh, 4 go himself once in 8 twice. 3 go himself once in 9 three times. So I have um, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. 42 times 11 gives us an answer of um, 462. So there's 462 committees that we can start with seven boys and four girls. In question B, I'm going to change color so it's easier to follow. They ask us how many of the committees contains exactly two boys and three girls. So exactly two boys and three girls. Now, if I have, to, what it means is I have to fill two boys. There have to be two boys. And out of the boys, I can there's seven boys that I have to pick two out. And, okay, so multiply. For the girls, there's going to be three positions. So three positions out of four girls. So that is how I'm going to write it out. So just a quick thing again. We have two positions, they say, contain exactly two boys. It means there need to be two boys out of seven. And there need to be three girls out of the possible four calls that's available. That's going to equal, um, let's go back to my seven factorial over two factorial, five factorial, multiply by four, which is four factorial over three factorial. Okay. Um, seven factorial, let's do it just next to it. Seven factorial is. 7 times 6 times 5 factorial, which will cancel with the 5 factorial at the bottom. 2 factorial is 1 times 2, so it's 2 times that. They cancel. Multiply by 4 factorial is 4 times 3 factorial. Divide by 3 factorial. Now, this is supposed to be 3 factorial, 1 factorial, but there's no 1 factorial is 1. So... 
3 factorial divided by 3 factorial will cancel. 2 go itself once and 4, and 4 twice. So my answer is going to be 7 times 6 times 2. And 7 times 6 7 times 6 times 2 equals a total of 84. 84. 7 times 6 is 42. 42 times 2 is 84. Let's clear this one. For question number C. They say how many committees have at least three goals? So if we have at least three goals, it means the following. I have three goals at least is these three goals out of um, four and there's one boy no there's uh, comment there's five so it means that there's two boys out of seven boys plus and so remember yeah, and is um is plus, and the other option will be um four goals out of four, so four goals out of four, and then one boy out of seven boys. So to, in total, this and this must still add up to five committee members, and four and one must also add up to five committee members. To do that mathematically, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 1 factorial, they cancel. Multiply by 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 factorial and 2 is 2 times 5 factorial. So 5 factorial, 5 factorial, lead. plus 4 factorial, 4 factorial is just, that's, that's one possible way. Everybody is there. Multiply by 7 factorial 1 means it is 7 factorial divided by 1 times 6 factorial. Now I've written too big. Okay, this equals, um, this 6 factorial cancel with 6 factorial here, I'm left with 7, this cancel, and that is what I have. I have 7 times 7 times 6 times 4, it gives us 4 times. It's 4 times 7 times 6, which is 84. 84 plus 7 equals 91. So the total is 91. So there's uh, 29, uh, 91 committees that will have at least three goals. The last example, in all of the previous ones, they've asked us how many, how many, how many. Now we're going to ask us what is the probability. So we're going back to probability. Let's change colors. So in D, we're looking at the probability to have the oldest and the youngest. So we're going to say, let in the event of the oldest and the youngest student are on the committee. Let that be A. So the probability of having the oldest and the youngest is the number available to have the oldest and the youngest divide by the number of um, total possibilities. Okay, so let's have a look at what that is. Uh, if the oldest and the youngest is already on the team, it means that there is out of nine people because in, in total we have 11. Okay, so in total we have 11 people. If we put the oldest and youngest, I don't know which one it's from. But it means that the youngest and the oldest are already there. So there's only three positions left. So there's three positions left. 
out of nine people because two of them are already in the thing. And the total will be 11 people out of a possible five. Okay, so that will give us 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 6 factorial, divide by, divide by um, 11 factorial, divide by 5 factorial, 6 factorial. Right, this is the same as 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial divide by 3 factorial which I'm going to say is 3 times 2 multiply by 6 factorial divide by I'm going to make a multiplication swap the two sides around I'm going to be left with 5 factorial 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 um, which I know by now that 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 multiply by 6 factorial over and then this will go to the that is the top 11 factorial is 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Okay, 6 factorials cancel. 6 factorials cancel. Everything is multiplication. 3 and 2 cancel with 3 and 2. 9, 8, 7 cancel with 9, 8, 7. 5 go himself once and 10 twice. 2 go himself once and 4 twice. My answer is 2 in 11. So there's a 2 in 11 chance that the youngest and the oldest are both on the committee. Doesn't matter who they are.